Good morning, guys. It's Joey from First String Lawn Care here. So, whoo, how y'all doing in this heat out there? Uh, the, I don't know what the heat index is supposed to be exactly. I hadn't read up on that. But uh, we've had a couple of days here that it's been in the 100s. And the humidity yesterday was like 90% or something like that. I, I, and, and it must be worse today because I'm telling you, it's, it feels like I just stepped into the rainforest when I walked outside. But uh, hopefully you guys are hanging in there. And I want to tell you why it's a good thing that it's so hot. Guys, if you would just hold on. Hold on to what you got right now. And pace yourself and don't overbook yourself and just be reliable and dependable you are going to start getting calls okay and here's why because all the guys who are not reliable who are not dependable and who just thought this was going to be a good idea to make some quick money this summer or they just thought it was a good idea and it was easy work and they're charging uh, prices that are way too low they are gonna fall by the wayside very shortly. They're not gonna stand out here and work in this heat. Guys, they're gonna start they're gonna start dropping like flies. It happens every summer. And we get an influx of calls for this very reason. So hang in there. Your phone's about to start ringing if you'll just hold on and uh, you know, pay you gotta pace yourself in this heat, guys. It ain't it's no joke. Um, Everybody thinks they can get out here and do it until they get out here and do it, <laughs> you know? And then they realize, hey, I, I, I probably made a mistake and this is hard work and it's not just mowing grass, you know? I mean, when you get out here and you're mowing 10, 15 in a row, that's a lot different than getting out here and mowing your own uh, one time, you know, and chilling. Uh, especially when it's 9,500 degrees and the humidity is horrible. But uh, we have got, we had a thunderstorm or a thunderstorm that's getting ready to pop up on us yesterday and we had two yards left and I decided that we, I don't like to cut, I, I don't care to get rained on, but I don't like to cut grass when it's wet. And I wanted this uh, particular, I wanted both properties to look good, but uh, this one in particular, uh, it's really green, really lush. And I wanted to uh, get a video of that one as I was cutting it. And I didn't want to have to do it uh, with it wet. So we decided just to add those two to the schedule today. So looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've got eleven properties to mow today. And I'm going to run out to the dump here and uh, get rid of uh, some yard debris that I've got in the back from a couple hedge trimming jobs. And I'm going to. Uh, get that took care of and then we're going to run down and get uh two pallets of mulch which is 10 yards of mulch and i'm going to get this out to a mulch job we, I, I can only haul uh two pallets between the tr the truck and the trailer so uh and it's five yards per pallet we're going to need about 16 or 17 for that job but we're going to start with 15 and I'll, I'll run back down and get another one but uh, I want to get this uh, mulch out to this uh, customer's property so we can at least have it out there and get that uh, off our plate. Because sometimes the biggest issue is just getting the mulch there. Uh, we were going to have uh, just a big bulk delivery done. and uh, But the only thing, the only, the problem is all this is in her backyard and her grass is looking really good right now. And I don't want to have to dump, you know, a bunch of mulch in her yard. And, and plus having a, a big dump truck driving you know, around her house into her backyard. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do her a favor and we're gonna go get bag mulch uh, at the company that I use. Uh, it's just as cheap, so uh, that's what we're gonna do this morning. And then we're gonna go uh, start mowing. Guys, like I said, hang on. Uh, it's getting hot, it's only gonna get hotter and guys are gonna start quitting and you're gonna get more work. So let's go get this mulch delivered and let's start mowing and I'll get you some footage today, guys. It's Joey from First String Lawn Care. Let's go get it. All 
All right, fellas. Let's get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, film this whole property. Let's do it.
All right, guys, for you guys at Mo Bermuda, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is the middle of June, and the Bermuda has took off. And unless you want to chase it all summer, which is what you end up doing anyway, no matter how hard you try, because it grows. You could cut this stuff every couple of days, especially these lawns that's been uh, fertilized. So I had planned on, it's hot, guys. I am drenched. It's hot. That's why I can't breathe right now. But uh, I wanted to get this lawn back down to two inches and keep it at two inches as long as we could. Now we're dealing with a, across the way over here, you've got a Bermuda lawn that uses a real mower. All right. So obviously his is gonna look gray. You can't hardly mow this short on a uh, rotary mower without uh, getting some blade marks in there, swirl marks, especially when it's been overgrown. So I could have cut it at two and a half, but like I said, I don't want to have to chase it all summer. So I cut it back down to two. Didn't have any issues in the back with the other mower. I told them that I would push mow the front to see if I can make it look any better. But uh, you see the back has no issues. Never has any issues with the other mower. Just hang on, fellas. Hang on. Pace yourself out here. It's dangerously hot out here. It kind of come on way quicker than even I was expecting. You know, we've been kind of training you know, pushing ourselves during the week, even when it wasn't as warm as this. But it jumped from 80, being 80 every day. You know, this week it's about between 90 and 95 every day. So we had a big increase in temps and a big increase in humidity all in a matter of a couple of days. And I'll just tell you, if you're out here cutting for $25 a yard, you ain't happy right now. So guys that's the video for the day lesson of the day pace yourself make it through make it through this june july august part of the year and you'll get those phone calls guys joe first thing long care i'm out of here